Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Graham Show. I'm the host, Graham Douglas, and I am beyond excited <laughs> to have with me this week my friend and the brilliant Jen Harris. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I've been so excited. This <laughs> I've is, been I'm, excited I've too. I've been so excited. So <laughs> I read that you got your start by jumping on the trampoline singing <laughs> like a virgin is that oh my gosh that, i don't know where you read true? that well you know the internet is a scary place oh my god <laughs> i'm terrified of it so either confirm yep. or i'm or deny i'm gonna confirm that okay it is okay. true we uh my sister used to videotape me and my friends um uh jumping on a trampoline singing <laughs> uh along with music of the madonna and uh -huh. michael jackson and and the cure and like really weird obscure stuff when I was a kid. So had you seen theater before you were doing these performances on tape at No, home? no. I hadn't seen anything but maybe the local like Nutcracker or something. So it was really just kind of instinctual. You're yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Just give me an audience. Just give me an live audience. or right. via camera. My sister, yeah, my sister was my first audience. And then what was your first experience actually in the theater? watching something that, that just kind of had a profound effect on you. I remember seeing a high school, I think I was in eighth grade, and my mom took me to uh, my high school, Rosary High School, that I would then go to, a production of, I, I, I think it, it was South Pacific. Yeah, I remember now it was South Pacific. And I remember just like watching the lead actress, and I was like, oh, I want to do that. I mean, I don't... I don't what was it about the experience? I think it was just, it wasn't the show, no, nothing against <laughs> South Pacific, all you South Pacific fans, I don't even really like know it. I think there's like a, one of these kind of numbers that's, I, I really don't know, no offense South Pacific fans. I think what it was, was seeing like someone perform up there, like seeing the girl who was the lead and I was like, oh, I want to, that's what I want to do. Well, so I was really into sports and I was, taking cl classes because um, I wanted to be a doctor. I was like, oh, I'm going to be a doctor. I'll be a doctor. Um, so I was sort of, it was a college prep high school, so it was very academic and okay. um, very stressful <laughs> academic high school. And then I would do sports. And, and I my first play, I was in um, Music Man, yes. and I was one of the dancers. And then my junior year, I auditioned for Guys and Dolls. And I just, you know, it was just a basic audition where everyone, like, sang and danced. And then I... I got Adelaide in Guys and Dolls, so that was my first part in a show. Amazing, and that's and, when the bug just like really bit Yes, you. it just sort of, that was it. And I remember after my first performance, my parents um, um, just were like, that was amazing. They just had the cutest faces, and I was just like, oh, cool. Like, So they were supportive. Yes, I have great, great parents, and I come from a super awesome family, and um, super supportive, awesome family. And my parents were actually, the ones who encouraged me to, I then applied for medical school and theater schools, uh -huh. and um, and I got into BU, and my parents were like, go to theater school. I know, wow. I'm the only parents on the planet were like, go to theater school. And they knew how to, they knew how to direct me, uh -huh. and I mean, gosh, if only, just think if, if like every family really was that sort of intuitive to their children, exactly. and like gave them so much, they gave me everything, they, gave, mm -hmm. they put me in every sport to try, instruments i played a saxophone for a couple of years like, so in college were there any did you have any mentors did you have any people that really uh, stood out to you as as helping to shape your 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 learning of yeah. of of the craft how did that how did that happen that's for you? a good question honestly i when i think back at school i went to boston university uh -huh. and um my my classmates i would say my classmates they uh when i look back at school i think even now, I'm like, those, those people that I went to college with know me the best. For some, I think for some people, things come naturally. I had to learn. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm, I do. I think certain elements are natural, but I, I definitely believe that I, there's no way. I had to learn how to, like, do it. Like was, it, how the, was, to it was it was it technique or was it just uh, the approach? Was it the, was it the, the mind frame? What That's do you think? What do you think it was? I mean, I've seen I you. I've seen you perform, and you're. I mean, yes, it does come naturally to you. I th yeah, but I do think that there is there is there's an absolute technique to sort of being able to be free. I'll speak for myself, but I had to learn like the technique I did. 
I think knowing knowing verse, knowing Shakespeare, knowing the classics, knowing how to do Chekhov. Um, we spent a semester in London at Lambda. Okay. Um, seeing theater, yeah. seeing how it's done, just just repetition over and over and over of um, certain aspects and elements of things, knowing the difference between um, Pinter and Chekhov and um, 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 Durang and uh, clowning and it really does all these elements do sort of um, at least for me teach put put sort of my um, my energy in, in a place and sort of because I feel like I otherwise I'm just I'm still all over the map I really do need direction and sort of rules yeah <laughs> to keep it sets a structure for it you it does it does it's and I think structure is really really important mm. And it helps, you know, it helps again when you're doing like collaborative. I mean, majority of what we do is collaborative. Even if you're doing a one man, one Absolutely. woman show, there's always going to be someone else. You involved. still have to have a dial, even with the audience. And it's For like sure. you kind of can't. You can be a mess. Most of what I do is like a mess, but it's a very, con it's, there's, a, there's like a control. There is, there's definitely math to the mess. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like rehab. Send that girl to rehab. You know, it's like it would be bad. <laughs> And with that, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs>